What is going on guys? Today we are going to go over the Body Helix X1 paddle. It was sent to me, so if you do use my code, I will get a small commission for what I receive, but this is an unbiased review on what I receive, what I like, what I don't like. We'll go over the summary of it, pros, cons, stats, you know I think this paddle might fit best. We're gonna keep the short and sweet under two minutes. Let's get into it. To start things off, my first impressions of this paddle was for a 16 millimeter, it felt pretty stiff, uh, especially in like kind of the mid shots and some of the long drives and serves, it just felt stiffer. Than normal 16 millimeter paddle would. Um, the length of the net still felt pretty solid. One thing is it did come with weights and overgrip and a paddle scrubber, which you'll see here, which if you have been in the game a little bit, you know that it's just kind of for clearing off the paddle and some of the, the fibers from the ball. Also came with a nice head cover as well. But one thing that I did notice was the handle when I received it was super thin. I mean, it felt super kind of kind of flat, um, but with the overgrip on top of that, it was awesome. And then also with the weights, it just helped feel a little bit more uh, kind of deeper or a little bit more solid with, with what I liked with the paddle. The kind of the forehand shots, some of the kind of mid resets, some of the blocks, it just felt a little bit thicker. Without the weights, it just felt a little bit, a little bit shallow if you will um, almost felt like a 12 or like a 10 millimeter paddle which is kind of interesting but it is a carbon face um, it is kind of your typical build up all the stats um, up here somewhere so you can check those out um, but it is a really well built paddle it's really good control overall and some really good power behind it as well some of my forehands that's my style is the forehand stuff so but overall i give the paddle kind of a b plus a minus especially if you add the overgrip which is a need for just kind of like more cushiony feel and also the weights on which felt kind of wide in the sweet spot and have the control of the pad a little bit better. I put them on the sides. You'll see online people will say put it in the head or put it in the side or put it down below for kind of different control spots. I just put two on each side um, and that just felt really good to me. Obviously, you know your play, everybody's different. They prefer different feels or different weightings for it. So kind of play around with it. Maybe look online for a different guide. So pros and cons. The cons obviously is if you want to make it feel really good, you got to put on the weights in the foregrip or the overgrip, I should say, um, which isn't really a big deal. It took me five minutes to do it and it comes with it, which is nice. So you have to go buy another, you know, $20 for the gear. But the con is just doesn't come out of the box with my preference. If you like kind of a stiffer feel, more of like 12 millimeter feel, it'd be great. Also the, the size and length of it is obviously pretty typical coloration you'll see a ton of kind of the white blacks reds in the paddleball market just because or pickleball paddle market just because what everybody does the manufacturers do it it's easy um, but the look was pretty cool um, the feel is really nice obviously a lot of the grip here the handle length is pretty long I mean you're gonna see anywhere from kind of four to six inches for the paddle length this is five and a quarter inches so a little bit on the longer side so if you're kind of an ex tennis player and you want a longer paddle or longer handle for your paddle for me at backhand. Um, definitely check this out for the paddle length of it. But as far as the overall paddle itself is, I mean, it's pretty intermediate. It's 160. I'll put my code below, hoist15, which is my last name, 15. You get 15% off everything, which is super nice. Um, again, I do receive a small commission if you do use that code, but for 160 bucks is kind of that kind of upper echelon of paddle, and it feels pretty solid. It feels really good. Um, again, with the weights on it, it felt really nice, and with the overgrip as well. It's a super playable paddle. It's in my bag right now, along with the other paddles that I use, like the Rogue, and do the Legacy in there as well. Who this paddle might be for, I would say intermediates who want to upgrade to maybe a carbon face, because it is a Torre face, and somebody who wants to have a little bit more customization on their paddle, because it does come with the weights and the overgrip as well. Um, but like I said in all my videos, everybody's different. Every paddle is gonna feel a little bit different to everybody, just like golf clubs or just like shoes. Everybody prefers a little bit different style, a little bit different feel. So play around with it, figure out what you like. But this is definitely from the middle of the road, 16 millimeter, which is generally kind of the average in the middle sweet spot for paddle thicknesses. Appreciate you all. Have a great summer. Keep pickling. Hopefully it's not too hot in your area and enjoy pickleball into the fall as well. Take care.